Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, I, <clears throat> as always, have to set up the stream, but hello. I'll have timestamps for you after the stream. I've been really slow with those lately. And sometimes YouTube has not been saving them onto the video. Like, I'll put them in the description box the way you're supposed to, and it doesn't work. So I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to get better with it, or at least pinning the rules or some the rules what i'm thinking about pinning the rules when the mods come in uh about about pinning the comment um <clears throat> with the timestamps as you might be able to tell i'm still not feeling great so we're playing Baldur's Gate 3 again hi Hi everyone! Hello, 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 hello. Hi. I was just saying, I'm still kind of sick. <laughs> but I have also, unrelated, kind of been rotting this past week. Just like not leaving my house. Um, not speaking to anybody. You know how it is. You know how it is. So I was like... <laughs> Maybe I should stream. <laughs> At least then I'm hanging out with people while I'm playing video games. Having some coffee as well. I really should have made decaf, but I didn't have any. Oh my god. Sorry, that was a terrible noise. My little butter knife stirrer going around the mug. Oh my god, sorry. That was like right in your ears. <laughs> I'm so sorry just kind of been rotting yeah 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 it's been a tough one um as you might be able to tell feeling sick showing up with absolutely i mean i think this is the least makeup you've ever seen on me actually usually when i'm doing like no makeup i'm still doing like a little skin tint and some blush and stuff today it is mascara and lip gloss and that's it Um, Dion, Kevin Cosgrove, thank you so much for your super chat. Hi, Loey, so excited for stream. Me too. We'll have some fun. We'll have some fun. Raw week is essential sometimes. Occasionally, life gets really, 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 really bad. And you kind of just have to raw it. And that's fine. That's fine, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see some of you guys are also saying you're having a tough week, and I'm sorry to hear that. I was talking to uh, my brother, and... Um, uh, wait, did I do everything correctly to set this up? I did that. I did not turn on anything that I was supposed to. I literally halfway did what I was gonna do when I normally set up the stream. Um, anyway, I was talking to my brother and his girlfriend and we were talking about how I guess like astrologically, this month is just super, super, super tough. So hopefully it just um, gets so much easier. I'm gonna blame it on the stars though. Just okay. Oh, I love this music. Hey, Liana. I'm live, I'm live for a bit, playing more Baldur's Gate. Good evening, Loey. How are you liking VG3 thus far? Well, so, because it's been rot week, because, um, yes, yes, sometimes you just kind of have to rot. Um, because I've been rotting this week, I've just been playing Baldur's Gate 3 pretty much nonstop recently. 
Uh, I was probably 60 hours into my personal playthrough before the last week and I just capped out my playthrough. I finished it today at 80 hours. So if that tells you how much time I've spent playing BG3. Um, I just finished my personal playthrough, which I didn't think I would do. I, I, I wanted to do it quickly. I wanted to finish it before I started my dirge run. Uh, that didn't end up happening, but I, I didn't expect to finish it before even playing my dirge run for the second time. Uh, it just kind of happened and patch four really put some crazy bugs in that game. Holy cow. My entire end game was so glitched out. Um, so I kind of ended up, I went through the whole end game. Um, I did everything I'm going to do, but I've saved, I saved before I ever went into the end game. Um, and I'm going to go back and redo it after patch five. So, yeah. Yeah, patch four is making me really, really sad. Like, I don't want to spoil anything, especially because if you guys have never played the game before and you're just like watching me play or, you know, you you aren't that far along. Um, basically, my entire end game was bugged out. It was so bad. Uh, it crashed like every 10 minutes and I didn't have audio for a lot of it. When you need a patch for the patch, exactly, exactly, Wardred. Peachy, I would recommend waiting it out because I kind of wish I hadn't finished the game. It kind of made my experience like of me <laughs> on my couch, like hysterically sobbing, a little cheapened uh, because then like my romance end scene with the Starian was completely screwy and yeah. Anyway, so that's been my experience playing for those of you who also might play it. Uh, but we're so early in the game in my um, <clears throat> in my Dark Urge playthrough that we're doing like here on the channel. I don't think we're going to run into anything like that. Um, at least I assume not. I haven't seen many people talk about like the early game being bugged like the late game is, you know. I'm going to post on Instagram that I'm live for a bit. Dude, the time change is making me feel so eepy all the time, first and foremost. Eepy, eepy. But also, it just feels like the middle of the night right now. It's crazy. Also, I am finally posting a video tomorrow. Oh my god. I uh, got it finished um, earlier today, which is also why I was like, I guess I'll go live for a bit. No, the patch made Withers go back in the tomb after you spoke to him. So, the patch, the patch removed Gale's um, armor permanently for the rest of the game. So it's it's a long story of how I got there, but basically the game glitched out his armor so that he was just in his jam jams. Like basically, basically the entirety of act three. And he had like the, you know, he had the armor on, like he had the, the armor class and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, he just was in his pajamas the whole game. It was so funny. And it's uh, it's going to be really fun to romance him in my dirge run, me thinks. My king. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, actually. I might load it soon. I haven't been doing as long of a 
a chat on these Baldur's Gate ones because I'm basically just chatting the whole time anyway. <laughs> Mr. Decorio is so cozy. Yeah, Colin. I am very excited about mine. I'm very, very excited to keep playing it. It's fun to play non-horror games. I was thinking about it tonight because I was kind of in the mood to play a horror game. But I'm kind of thinking, uh, you know, I have like the whole the whole rest of the week and then the weekend ahead. And I'm kind of just in a Baldur's Gate mood. You know what I mean? Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream today. These feel so cozy. Yay! Hey, Reyna! Sin Pain, thanks for 17 months, Angel. I love you. My love. Hey, Rebel. Shortened dirge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirge. Dirge is the shortened dark urge. Have I played Demonology yet? No, I haven't. I haven't. I was also thinking about playing uh, Dead by Daylight tonight instead. Um, because of the new PTB and stuff. But I just really wanted to play Baldur's Gate. <sighs> It just sounded so fun. I wish this music played the whole game also. It's so relaxing. I have a cat here in my mouth. I think I just got it. Maybe it's Tara. <laughs> well, thanks, Chris. Thanks for coming in, hanging out. Also, Caitlin, I love you so much. Thanks for being here. Yeah, no, Sylvana, same. I love the fire sound. Like, I love a little crackly fire. Oh, Raina, I'm cramping so bad, too. Oh, is Chucky fun? You know, I was kind of like, I was thinking I didn't know who I could ask to download the PTB, and I feel like Playing on the PTB is always the most fun. The player test build for Dead by Daylight where they like release stuff early. Um, I, train of thought, train of thought. Loie, where are you right now? I, I was reading Holly's comment and thinking about how I'm also kind of EP right now. Um, I don't know, my streams also sometimes make me EP. What was I just saying? Oh, I was talking about the player God, that went away from me so fast. That was like record timing of a thought just vanishing out of my brain. Um, I, I didn't know who I could ask to download it, uh, but Chucky looks really fun. I watched Ots play him earlier. I think the mechanic of, um, of his like ghost carrying Chucky and the survivor makes so much sense. And it's, it's kind of like all the fun of just having a little guy in DVD but also, I don't know. You don't have to worry about holding a survivor on your head. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, Holly, you did steal it. <laughs> I'm so surprised you guys can just fall asleep to streams, especially considering this is only the second stream I've ever done where I'm not doing like a horror, a true horror-related thing. I think darker, just creepy, but. Emily, I saw that they updated Outlast Trials. I keep meaning to ask uh, Static to play with me, but we, I mean, we had to play with other people when we played. Um, like, we, we were just completely useless by ourselves, and I don't know anyone else who plays. Like, I feel like normally my streams are so spooky scary, but I love that they're relaxing for you. It makes me happy. I'm 
grew up to listening to Markiplier uh, FNAF playthroughs. The other day I had YouTube on autoplay and him replaying Amnesia. I woke up to him replaying Amnesia one morning and I was just like, oh my god. Rebel, I can understand falling asleep to Baldur's Gate. Don't get me wrong. Like, this game is so relaxing. I mean, maybe, maybe not for me, but it is to watch. You know? So... That one I'll give you a pass for, but normally they're horror. Hi, El Kaven. Oh my god, the music is so relaxing. I really want more coffee, but I should not. Alright, I guess I'll go ahead and open up the game. No need to, to delay going home to go see my man. Although... I'm not gonna lie to you guys, after finishing my personal Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough, I... I don't know how to not romance Karlak this time around. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I don't know, Karlak. I'm literally, like, blushing thinking about it. I don't know if Karlak is gonna... <laughs> is gonna is gonna make it through this playthrough unromance, especially with Dirge. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm in love with her. That's all. And honestly, Will, too. Oh my god. It really... I, I hate that my... Um, my personal playthrough is so bugged with Astarians and uh, and this scene. It makes me worried about reaching anyone else's. I don't know if it's just him, but okay, I'm opening it up. Yeah, Garlic Queen. I love her so bad. Um, okay. Report a bug. Me smashes button over and over and over again. Oh my God, that was loud. My computer immediately starting to run so hot, too. It's turning down my lighting. I feel like that's fine. Okay, when we actually open it. <laughs> Paige, I hope it was good. Jello, I really, really do. And not just because of the the inside joke of my channel. Oh my god, I can't believe we're back already. I'm so excited. Okay. Hey macaronis. Why is it not pulling this up? Okay, there we go. Slide. Like, I... So true. I do just have two hands for a reason. Let me have Gale and Asaria. Like, <laughs> my entire personal playthrough was basically that simulated because I just held on to them both in my party the whole time. How's the sound? Also, I know it's quiet right now because I swapped over screens, but... Let me know if I should turn anything up once we get in. Okay, slide. 
<laughs> Hi, yo. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining the stream. Hi, Kailantis. Thanks for four months. Here we are, back for more PG3, baby. I finished my personal playthrough today, and I miss my man. I really, really did. Should I turn it up? What's on your mind? Like a little bit louder, maybe? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I looked at Gail. I got kind of... like a little bit I can't tell I'm gonna just assume it's a yes and bump it up a teensy bit well met all right all right all right I'll leave it alone okay cool so we last left off um we last left off Saving Arabella. The waiting's getting to me. If we left, we can leave. Oh my god, he kinda of, <laughs> kind of spooked me. I've got a long road ahead. Hey Brendy Nine, thanks for three months. I love you. No one stopped me yet. Well Angel, thanks for being here. Um I think we saved Kaga anyway. I, I excuse me if I'm a little fumbling still at this game. Not only did I play it for the first time on PlayStation, I played it on PlayStation today, so it feels a little a little funky to me. Um All right, so we could go see Nettie. You really can't help it, can you? These vile things you do. Don't you wonder why you're doing them? You must really you must ha wait. You must really have been an awful person before the crash. Oh my god, journal. That's brutal. Perhaps it's better that you forgot about it. But you want to know, don't you? Oh my god, wait, these are kind of spooky. Imagine, like, the Lilith actually just checking her journal every single day. She's, like, writing down things about her companion. She's, like, on the Wizard of Waterdeep's page, just like, Gail has great abs and she goes back and like rereads it all in the morning and she sees special yes special aren't you shh don't fight it you know what you need to do take up that knife do what you do best easy as breathing you'll feel better after like spooky anyway um we saved arabella yeah so, Halson, we could go to the goblin camp. We have something we need to do before the goblin camp. Um, okay. Oh my god, I'm still so sniffly. Thanks, Soul Caven. Oh my god, sorry. I was just clicking over because your your thing is on my other screen. Romance Carlac, she has Gail's golden retriever en energy and Shart's badass femininity. <laughs> She's the whole package. Also, her dialogue is everything. I really, like I said, her endgame really, really, really killed me. Like, killed me. Um... I was shaking and sobbing and beside myself, truly. Um, okay, so I guess we should just explore These the rest seen everything. of the Druid's Grove. I should speak up. Yep. No. Die if I met the Roach and reeking of this thing. We've known enough grief this ten day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. Jeez. I ever do to you. <gasps> Slay! I didn't realize. Auntie Ethel is down here. Damn! Goblins! I 
I don't think I met Gail in my playthrough. Katie. Ogle the gosh in her flesh. Um. Like the sight of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. Um. I'd have done the same thing. Well, finally, someone who ain't got horns where their good sense should be. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. So you just left your friend to the goblins? These weren't no normal goblins. And Liam weren't no friend, all right. Just another raw recruit thought he was in some storybook. Okay, then. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. You know, he's kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> a little bit. Um, but he's so romance-shaped. Aradin is like, like cute. He's like cute. Um. All you did was stand up for your crew. I guess I'll go paladin. Please. A good sword will get your father than honor any day. What do you want anyway? I ain't local. I know knew the fella in charge, but barely said two words to the devil swarm in his place. I should speak with that fellow. Do you know where he is? Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. That's Didn't work Daddy out, Halsin to you. Goblin's gone when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Um, can I have a look at that contract? <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. Oh, and There's I do. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Any idea what that relic actually is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped uh, us. I'd okay. give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. Uh. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. You guys are roasting Aridin. Oh my god. Um, I think eyes inventory. Master Laroken, the Arcanus of Athkotla, the recluse of Ramazith's Tower, seeks brave and enterprising individuals to delve the treacherous temple and recover storied artifact, the Night Song, for preservation in Baldur's Gate. Only stout of heart and keen of mind need apply. Fame, glory, and incredible fortune assured. Whatever you say. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep these <laughs> droppers out. I just like the sound of your, your happily ever after. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to you both. 
Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? I want a new life entirely to be a wholly new person. Knowing me, there's a high chance I will start a fire and be sent to jail. Um, I'm just gonna say, cause I, I like the, the more I thought about this run, the more that I think I definitely want her to be like a heroic dark urge. Like I want her to fight her urges and like want to start over. Like she doesn't know her past, but her amnesia is sort of like, I don't know. It's like now she gets to be someone totally new. Um, so I'm going to say that one. I want a new life entirely. Know what you mean. Do we ever? But I I've heard there's all sorts in the city. It, it might not be like it was in El Terrell. I mean, in Boulder's Gate, they give you a chance. Good luck to you. Wish us a little too. I think we'll all need it. Surely destined for the slaughter. What would be more perfect than to die by your love's <gasps> side? And known love was not enough. Oh Whatever my god. Especially I after I just finishing my last playthrough and thinking about romancing some of the people I am. Like, holy shit. Lilith! Anyway, hey Monica, thanks so much for coming in tonight. I didn't come here to make friends. We were born to be suburban legends. When you hold me, it holds me together. And you kiss me in a way that's gonna screw me up forever. That's okay, you're not that late. We just got started. I love you. Thanks for the super chat. You better behave tonight. I know you have it. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will. Did I talk to this kid? I don't think I did. I think I talked. Um, I think Barth moved over there as well. I think he was over here before he was. Is there someone over here? Uh, just Ramira. Okay. Well... Let's, uh, let's go talk to Roland. Roland! My thunder wave will make quick work of any goblin. Just you wait. Me and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for coming the arrow. in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. How stupid are you? How stupid. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. I much prefer roasted dwarf. Um. Stop thinking about the delicious. <laughs> Stop thinking about the delicious dwarf and take the bowl. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. I will! Hmm. Doesn't taste half bad. Um, Monica, yes. Behave, yes. What's on your mind? You are on my mind, Gale of Waterdeep. Ah, uh, it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning oh of the word Oh my god, sleep. Auntie Ethel. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. She said, I'm reading you like a book. Um, I'm gonna let her fuss over me. Aha! Uh -huh. You'll take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Might this concoction help me with something more serious? Well, that depends. What's wrong, lovey? 
Um. Oh, that was Gale. Kate. Oh, that was Gale. Oh, that was Gale. Um. I have a condition. Uh, an unusual condition. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling Ooh. oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Auntie Apple. What is more... You know, I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to turn up the lights anymore. Do I want to try to confide in Auntie Ethel and say, just like I've tried to say to absolutely everyone else, hey, I'm having some weird thoughts up here. Monica! I'm not sure I understand the word behave. Can you define the word for me? It's, it's, it's simply existing, Monica. You are behaving by simply existing and hanging out in chat and being the light of our little community. And you don't have to do anything else. You can just hang out. <laughs> Maybe in your Polly Pocket House if you want to. Casey, I adore you. I just needed to tell you, Louie, I adore you. This game looks epic and I kind of love it. Not gonna lie. I adore you, Casey. I absolutely love this game. I'm glad you're hanging out to, to watch a little playthrough of it. Um, There's something awful about my instincts and my desires, Auntie Ethel. Then let old Auntie Ethel have a look at you. First things first. Tell me what's at you. I think terrible things, Auntie Ethel. Really, really, really terrible things. Oh, Petal, that's how it starts, you know. Thinking is only a step away from doing. Were you hurt recently? An accident of some sorts? That could explain things. Um... All I know is that right now I'm imagining drowning you in the boiling stew over there. Um, I'm gonna just say a mind flare. Well, that's a really good answer. Oh, you cheeky pop. That might scare someone else, but I know what naughty girls need. A bit of love and care. If I was back in my tea house, I'd make you a cuppa and tell you to put your feet up. Alas, here I can only tell you to be kind to yourself, Petal. And encourage you to browse my bits and pieces, of course. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Myself included. Auntie Ethel, I love you so much. I'm gonna say thank you for being nice to me. Sure. What else am I here for? Bye now, Petal. She is so Hello, funny. Hello, Petal. Need anything? Any lotions or potions? She did just give me, um... She did just... Hey, bother. She did just give me a potion, which is kind of slay. Hey, Ash. I hope you're well, too. I also hate change, so I totally understand that. Your videos helped me a lot lately. Thank you for existing, and I love you the most. I love you more, Ash. Thanks for four months. Um, I'm actually gonna buy these. Because earlier, well, how much are they? Does it tell you? Oh, okay. 
earlier. Um. I was talking uh, to Susie and Susie told me that acorn truffle and salt is how you make potions of animal speaking. Okay, well, that was slay. And we got some gruel, which is good, I suppose. And Auntie Ethel is gonna help us when we get out of here. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Why did my journal be something? Adventures. Oh, we found Zoru. Oh, Lazel. Oh my God. Wait, I should go back. <gasps> Those are the ones that um, they they locked up Lazel. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Uh huh. Um, I'm going to camp. Is that everything? I'm letting Lazel get her revenge. I love my girl. She deserves it. Uh, who should I leave behind for the moment? I guess... Oh, nope. Probably Shadowheart for just a second. Something the matter? If you're sure. Okay. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. I know. I know, Shard. Thank you. Oh. I got the artifact? Gruel being the ultimate girl dinner is kind of concerning, Monica. Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. It is done. Revenge for my girl! By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? <laughs> you heard the woman. Bow. <laughs> <laughs> Lower. <laughs> Lazel loves it. You saw another gith. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. <laughs> Both of them, like, side-eyeing each other. You can keep your innards. By the dead gods. Are all gifts so brutal? Brutal? Blood still flows through his own veins. I was positively gentle. Lazel is so kind. Why do you want to talk to me already, Lazel? <sighs> Why do you already want to talk to me? Um... Chloe is proof you can be a girl boss and just be a girl at the same time. 
And gruel is not girl dinner. Gruel is not girl dinner. I'm sorry. I'm saying it, Monica. I think that... I've got food. Water. Like, soup could be girl dinner, though. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. <laughs> You're a dab hand at interrogations. We might need that skill again. A shell so thin requires little to crack it. The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Did you say teethling? <laughs> I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture, <laughs> custom perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. No, no, it's fey run. What do you mean, purification? The crash holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Okay. Well, Lazel, love you to bits, girl, but I don't actually want you at my party, so. Um. Speak. Lazel, is it me, or have you been looking at me differently? I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Thank you. Can I assume a compliment is incoming? I don't pay compliments. <laughs> I only say what is true. You've proven me wrong at every turn. You are efficient, dominant, courageous. Oh my god, thanks, I swear, mommy. you would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. Really, really, really liked that we had the tiefling bow to her. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, if you respect me so much, then why are you such a prickly grouch? Um, <laughs> Lays hell down enormously. It's crazy. If you respect me so much, why are you so grouchy? If you must know, Vlekith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. <laughs> can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be to survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Bah, enough talk. I will be plain. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight, perhaps later. But I want it all the same. Do you? I guess I can't even see her approval right now because we're we're in conversation. I'm like, where is her approval at that she's already saying this? Here's the thing. Is I 
she's moving so fast. She's moving so fast. She's moving a little bit too fast, maybe, for me. And uh, Lazelle's also a little bit freaky. Like, a little bit freaky. A little bit freaky. Um, when it comes to the romance. Um... It went so fast. She wants to bang as soon as she stops hating you. I'm flattered, Lazelle. But the answer is no. New loss, I fear. I completely agree. One day soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted, how my fingers on your skin might have felt, and you will wish you could return to this lost moment. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, babe. You're you're literally not wrong. Anyway, I need you out of my party. Speak. <laughs> Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? Um, I'm not arguing. As you here. say, do not keep me waiting. Yeah, I mean, Gail for me is already at such high approval that he's told me about the uh well he's told me about his condition go ahead i'm listening um wait how do i at the ready lovely day this for now charmed i'm sure i know i know bestie i'm trying to figure out how to open up your character sheet is it up here is it in your inventory how do I find? Okay, your approval is getting there. It's fair. It's fair. I should have checked where Lazelle's was before I got her out of my party. I'm actually going to do that right now. Oh, wait. No, Gail. Not you. <laughs> not you, babe. So that's progress. Speak. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Um. It is done. Okay. Action, not reaction. Wow! So they're at the same. That's crazy. What's wrong, baby? What's the matter, Miss Marcus? Never a dull moment. Oh, it's Tab. We get along Thanks, quite Susie. well. Thanks, Susie. Speak. Okay, now I need you in my camp. Chuck. As you. All right. I might want to take you with me. Need something? Lead on. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Oops. And his his answer is so cute. Also, um, okay, let's just leave camp. Nice that you can see it in tab. Slay, 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 slay. Oh my god, Astarians is so low. Alright. So we've made our full loop here. We could... See what's going on back here, maybe? Oh, here's the prison. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. The dirge is freaking brutal, dude. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really feel particularly strongly about this moment. Like, I have no, I have no information about this. I, I, I don't know. I don't particularly want to pass judgment here. 
Um, also, Casey, thanks so much for joining the channel memberships. Welcome, welcome. Stand back and admire the guards overflowing hate. Just in case I need to save scum, I guess. I have no idea. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. Oh my god! Girl, that was brutal! That goblin won't be the last. Bit of a fish in the barrel there. You could have given her a fighting chance. Fighting chance? That's more than Cannon got. Wow, holy cow. That was brutal. Alright, I definitely don't want to go into the prison right now. I don't really think there's anything in there. There might be, but... We could go get Carlac. Oh, I guess we could go to Arabella's parents. I don't know if Asarian would approve of anything here, so I'm just gonna do it. Oh wait, are they not down here anymore? Where are they? Oh, they are, okay. They just haven't loaded in yet. Oh, you're right here. Oh my god. Girls, it's our job to get us out of here safely. Not yours. Hi, it's Arabella. my job too. The you ever scare me like that again and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we do without her. Um, no more light fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Nice. I was fine. Your mother was a heart biting a bear. Isn't okay, slay! We've saved Arabella. We could go get Carlac, mm -mm. which probably would move things along pretty quick. I guess we're already here. We might as well go to Nettie, actually. Which direction is that on the map? I'm really bad at reading maps, by the way. Um, so I'm sorry about that in advance. I'm not sure that there's a, a quick context anyone could give if you missed episode one, Alexander, but um, we're just playing uh, The Dark Urge, um, and that's really it so far. Here goes nothing. Like, nothing special. We're just playing Dark Urge, and right now I'm thinking I'm going to fight it. She is down here. And I'm also not going to lie to you. I, um, <laughs> here's the thing. I know I, s oh wait, can I kill her? I'm a druid. I really want her headpiece. I might make she one of the others. On you, didn't they? Does that hurt? Do it instead. I see you. Just give me a moment. Is there anything I can do to help? A moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I'm looking for Nettie. You found her. 
But I still don't know what she can do for you. Do you know anything about mind flares? Why are you asking? Um, no good way of putting this. I, uh, I have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? You know of them? Can you help me? I, uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. You might be able to- You need to be quick. Do something for me, bestie. You you might be able to do something. Casey, I listen to your videos while delivering packages and it makes every day so much more bearable. I'm so happy to finally be a member. I love you so much. Oh my god, my little angel. I'm so thankful you're here. I love you so much. Thanks for joining the channel memberships and thanks for coming to the stream. I'm happy to keep you company. I'm also sorry on that note to, to take a quick break. Um, I'm going to leave you guys here with the audio and stuff and just turn off my cam and mic. I'm going to run to the bathroom really quick. And then I think I'll feed the dogs at their normal time. I was going to say I could do it now, but I think I'll wait because it's like another hour. So, okay. I'm going to take a quick break. Just, well, do you guys want the BRB screen? Do you just here? I'll I'll leave you with the BRB screen in case new people come in, and I'll leave you with like the ambiance. How's that sound? And then when we come back, we'll level up and and do all this. Okay. There you go, slay. All right, I'm gonna put you on the BRB, and I will be right back. Right back. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't talk today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Damn, Loki, you pissed. Sue's 
Nancy. Sack. Just <laughs> Susie, you're a goober. I feel like I should get hibachi tonight. I feel like it's a hibachi night. I still can't believe Susie's <laughs> good bathroom fast. Oh, that was funny. Okay, um, so here's the thing. I'm gonna level up. <laughs> um, I think that that's pretty important. Oh my god, that's loud. Okay. Oh! I, well, I can I can prepare my spells later, I guess. I, I keep forgetting it's not the same as it is on PlayStation. Level up, spells. Oh, Gail, why don't you learn to speak with animals? That would be so useful. Oh, Cloud of Daggers is good. I do love, I took Cloud of Daggers all the way to the end game, to be so honest with you. You, Monica. Thank you. Because I'm sitting here with absolutely no makeup on. My roots need to be done so badly. I love you. Thank you, Monica. That's very sweet of you. Uh, burning hands? Or do I want to do Misty Step? Which could come in real handy. Um, or blindness. It's so fun to do this again. I think I'll go with Burning Hands. Uh, Magic Missile, I think we should keep. Maybe not. Maybe Mage Armor. Maybe Mage Armor. I don't know. Long Strider is a ritual, so you can cast without a spell slot. Really? That could also be good. I think we'll do that then. All right. Yay, Will! Okay. Um, what do I want you to learn, Will? My beloved. Burning hands or cloud of daggers. Cloud of daggers is so useful. And also hold person is really useful. Ooh, that was scorching ray. I think we're gonna go with Pact of the Chain. I think we're gonna go with Pact of the Chain. I 
I love, I love having extra helping hands in fights. You know what I mean? I don't know. What spells do I have? I have burning hands. I think I might. Well, maybe I'll change out burning hands for cloud of daggers, actually. I think that's good. to do this in so long. I never reclassed him either my whole playthrough. Um, sort action, bonus action. Magic could be kind of clutch. It could be a little bit clutch. But I'm kind of leaning towards Assassin. I think Assassin. Beef is the best, Susie. Oh, you gain an, a bit, uh, an additional um, bonus action. That's kind of slay. I could go assassin or thief. I think. I don't know. Don't know. Kastari also usually I give him a uh, alert as a feat. So it's it's real high. So he ends up you know. I think we'll go feet though. Alright. Okay. Well, this one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I'm hoping for a less, or should I call her out and say you killed him and laid him out on the table? Oh, she has nothing to say to that? Okay. Nettie. No. That was Master Halson. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied Halson. them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. Thank you. I'll take anything that can help. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. <laughs> Any symptoms? Strange events? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Or no, nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. Victims so. can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship. I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. 
Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? No. I'm not taking poison from a woman I can't trust. And that's a completely reasonable response. It's a completely reasonable response. I don't know you, and you're telling me, hey, I don't have a cure for you, but here's some poison you can take in case you start, the, the tadpole starts expanding. But you have to. Don't you understand? You could kill us all. I don't care, I'm not gonna die! Then I've no choice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I alone? Oh no! No, I'm alone, I'm alone, my friends are outside. A long way from Waterdeep. You guys can't come in here, can you? Where do I it's go from only here? only me, huh? Man! Nettie! I'm sorry to do this for ya. Well. Shit. <laughs> this is gonna be so embarrassing if I die. <laughs> and I have to save scum. Um. Just lean here. Let's just hope we get this over with in one more turn. Oh, we're not gonna get this over with in one more turn. That's There's right. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. I'm a little busy right now. I love that my companions are just outside and have no idea. You've unlocked an action as the result of another ability feature or condition. Curiosity. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I do forget how to get out of here, though. I just really like it. Of course I remember, knew the second that girl was walking that she'd be trouble. Little thief, always in everyone's business. And that word of Gorion went right along with her. Huh. Wait, what's this book? Oh, the ball spawn crisis. Got it, got it, got it. Take her necklace because it opens the doors. I think it's the the crown, right? Or am I imagining that? Nope, it was the crown. Alright, well sorry about that guys. I uh No traps, please. Just had something to do real quick. Thanks for six months, Holly. I can't believe all of that was gifted. That's amazing. Track the Druid, find whatever Burrowy runs to, and report back to me. Remember, you are only a scout. Do not engage, do not kill anyone. Simply observe and return. I'll decide what we do next. M. Perhaps M could be Minthara, who is pretty much. Don't waste a um, step. The only other drow character I feel like you know. Well, I guess we don't even know her yet, but. I 
always read every single book, even if I don't actually read it. I don't know. Just in case there's something in it. Soul coins. Ah, why stop now? I'll just read her whole library. I killed her, I took her crown. Oh, oops. Well, alright. I killed her, I took her crown, and now I am reading all of her books. Let's see what this does. Something over there. Over where? It's broken, but not too badly. Hey, over where? Over here? What did you guys see? Neil does just have the most incredible voices, man. Say there was something over here. Remember that was a, there was this little voice. Oh, I have to put things in here. A tidy slot, but no rune. Wonder. I don't need to sit on that. anything else. Like I said, there's something over there. And yet... I do not know. Susie, are you here? What do I do, Susie? Do you know? Do I do anything here? I don't remember ever doing anything here. Well, sorry, Nettie, <laughs> but killing you has had absolutely zero consequences for me historically, so. What's up for discussion? The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. Tear her! Oh my god! The dark urge is brutal! Pull yourself away! Leave the Your poor thing tightens. alone! Your fingertips shake. Good gravy! Seems simple enough. Have to keep going. Well, I guess we found Nettie, and we have an answer to that question. Anything of use? Screw you, Kaga. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlo. Mm, okay. Bye. <laughs> Good. 
Good gravy, Lella. Over here, actually. At least not off the top of my head. Oh, I never did this in my other game. I think there are sirens. Thing. It's beautiful. You would say that, Gail. Water. It's dangerous. Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. I don't hear anything. Come back to shore. No, no. It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Kid, get back up on dry land. All right, starry boy. Are you kidding me? Sanctuary. Damn, not being a cleric is going to be tough. All right. But I'll be able to take these people out so fast. That's what favors the fearless. Oh. Oh, I was like, oh my god, it only fired one, and then I realized it's because it's Eldritch Blast level one. Like that's Fleet of foot. it it I just don't have multiple Eldritch Blasts yet. Okay. Uh you're good. Hey! Oh! 
my god. Well, that's a reload. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, that's the whole reason I'm going down to fight those things. Don't take out the kid. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, it's based off of the rules of D&D. &D. It's, um... Uh, it's Baldur's Gate 3. It's very fun. Night Ana uh, Ananda? Amanda. Such a pretty song. Please. How do I... Okay. Keep your Such a pretty song. You two hang out up here for me. The action a little bit. Still breathing, despite everything. How much farther can Please. I go? Do not the child. My favorite drownings will take place in shallow water. Don't you hear it? No. Yes. I really wish that I could just make sure that we could protect the kid, but now I know to... I didn't think you could, okay. Which one do we wanna do? Well, that was a tough miss. So that one's got to be insta taken out. Torment. Man, magic missile is killer. to see that's what happened okay yeah. all right we've got that one dead at the very least and then will no don't be lord no small child stop being oh no what happened? he's running out to see Don't kill Will, please. Um, but maybe do kill that one. Nice, nice. Oh, no, no, it wasn't successful, okay. Kind of fight this early in the game is actually kind of funny. Yeah, attack the grown man. Yeah, That's completely monster. fine. I'll make you pay. Can you reach that one, Will? I or Gail, whoever you are. Torment. Nothing will stand in my way. Well, good morning, princess. Um. Okay, we are in a way better spot than we were before, right? I think we're in a way better spot. You can do use bonus action to do a hide. Oh, nice. Okay. 
I've had melee before as a bonus option. I just don't think he has any... Um, well, maybe he does. I don't know what his weapon is. Actually, I haven't... Stop it! Get out of the ocean! You dumb little kid. Should I get closer, maybe? All right, I'm gonna try it. Oh, I didn't even see you. Oh my god. On the hunt. All right, well, you're good. Up oh. Stop killing Will. Damned monster. I'll make you pay. to go back through her stuff. On the victor's path. It's so funny to get used to this. Where's the other one? Is it just up? I don't know where the other one is. Oh, it's right there. I thought it was dead. I swear to God, if this thing kills the child. Okay, well, at least he disengaged. At least he's not getting got. I appreciate that much. Oh, nice. All right, we're good. What am I needed? Uh, are they gone? Um, go back to your parents. There's worse in the wilds than harpies. I don't. They're, they're gone. Now there's just more. She'll be so mad. I didn't get the gold from the nest. I got to go. Wait, um, you should meet Moll. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. I didn't realize you could yeah, do this. Right with magic. Um. What now? What, what's up, Gail? That scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. He's so... Cute. Um. Met with a lot of harpies, did you? And worse. One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a tressim. Ugh, dear old Tara, beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. Well. That depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. <laughs> Such as? There was that magma method once. Nice fellow, we kept in touch. Of course, in walked the housekeeper, screaming, yelling, panic, and before you know it, fire everywhere. Anyway. I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Me too, Poor yeah. lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for you. Now, do the harpies have a nest or something? Because that was what the kid was talking about. Should mind my step. in here. Hmm. A 
pile of bones. Is that the nest? It's a pile of bones. Don't know what I expected. I thought surely you would get some cool loot for doing that, because I totally missed that my first playthrough. I'm really liking Gale. That makes two of us BFF. I do think we're going to go long rest, though. Thank you guys as well for hanging out with me while I play Baldur's Gate 3. I know this is obviously like a much smaller, you know, audience who, who wants to see things like this and not just, you know, horror stuff. But it means a lot that I, I don't know, I get to like share my kind of like downtime with you. I think that's kind of cool. Um, I see that we could jump across here, but for what purpose? I don't know. We might be able to jump across there. I really don't know. All right, cool. To camp, to camp. It was a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swat me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. What festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. I'm in love with a lot of you. Wow, it's so beautiful. I love this game. I wanted to Google and make sure there wasn't like Harper Harpy treasure. I'm missing. Gotcha. All right. To camp, to camp. <laughs> we certainly have enough supplies to, to rest right now, Very too. Well. well, should I end the day first? Well, what can I do for you? It's so weird not to be romancing him. I'll end the day and I'll see what happens. Hey, Will! <laughs> did you, uh, did you want to chat about something, buddy? A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Surprisingly fine, in spite of it all. <laughs> Surprising is just the word, isn't it? Before the Elithids' unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. We could probably dig up some poison mushrooms. <laughs> um, something special about us, or at least our tadpoles. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. <laughs> or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. So true. So true, Will. You are such a beautiful man. Well met. They really, they really did something when they designed your character. What's on your mind? Uh, nothing, currently. 
All right, ladies. And a Saurian? Everybody wants to chat tonight. Well, I'd rather talk with the Saurian, actually. So, sorry, Lazel. I'll be right with you. It's quite a sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. Beautiful tonight. I can see the stars from Baldur's Gate, of course, but not with such clarity. It got me thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we arrive at this Gith crash. Will we find out how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Should I say, what will you miss me? Or it doesn't have to be, we can still travel together. Um, he's doing things to me right now. How am I not gonna romance this man in this playthrough? Um, um. Um, it doesn't have to be. We can still travel together or what? Will you miss me? <laughs> Why not? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but... You're stronger than I gave you credit for. Um, I have many talents if you want to explore them. <sighs> Monica, I am so struggling out here. I am struggling. Struggling. I don't want to come on to him. I don't want to like, he's literally just existing in my camp. But also he, I do not the vampire. <laughs> I have to the vampire. Um, I'm just trying to survive like you. Yes. We're more similar than I thought. Are you feeling all right? Hmm? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. Something tells me we're gonna be doing a fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. <laughs> Not that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. What do you mean by the tears? Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Kalea. It must be quite a shock to leave your crash behind and arrive here. Do you think me so sheltered? Never mind, sorry. My entire clutch battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. We infiltrated an Yogi spell jammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toril's sky, Venisk. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. I don't know if that's the first thing we're gonna do, Lazel, but I will consider it. Shadowheart, really? You have something to say too? Everyone's chatty tonight. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. I can't wait to get this thing out of my head. That was so cheeky. Yeah. 
you know, this could be our last night together. I hadn't thought of that. What do you have in mind? I don't know what to do. I... Is nudity off? <laughs> I need to check that nudity is off. Okay, it's off. It's off. It's off. Alright, cool. Everyone rabid for me! It's so real! We can find somewhere discreet right now. Away from the camp. Hmm. Rambles on bare skin aren't as fun in practice, I'm afraid. Okay, fine. Besides, I can't afford to tire you out. We still have work to do. Rest well. Well, that's fine. That no, it's fine. I did. I didn't want to anyway. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's really, really, really fine. I need a cold shower. <laughs> Shadow art. Cursed to put my hands on everything. Um, okay. Supply. Pack. Pack. I can't talk. I thought for sure I was gonna get a cutscene. I thought for sure I was gonna get a cutscene. Monica, I'm well, sorry. What can I do for you? I'm so sorry that I did it, and it, it was nothing so exciting. All right. Who do I want right now? I think I'm going to go ahead and take all of you, actually. And if we need to come back for Shart, we can. You know... Could go get Carlac. Could I guess yeah, let's go get Carlac. We also could go talk to Zevlor while we're still Oh, we could also go back and talk to Donnie as well. I guess there's more to do in the Druid's Grove than I thought. Yeah, Loie and her harem. Except absolutely nothing has happened with anyone so far. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. This is Raphael. Who is this man? Why is this man? Please do not the man. I don't want to spoil it. Um, oh, 
You're familiar with my work? I'm rather the admirer of the sanguine arts. Even if I wasn't quite born under a killing moon myself. Shall we withdraw? We have much to discuss to our mutual satisfaction. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Ah! There, middle of somewhere. Can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Is that right? <laughs> Ignore him and fill your plate. <laughs> Happy Oma's birthday, Evie, dear. Yeah, a little more BG3, baby. Happy Oma's birthday. I love you so much. I'm getting tired of your games. Uh, what makes you say that? Call it a uh, ninth sense. Oh, shit, it's the devil. Who saw that coming? What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Evie, thank you so much for five gifted members. On your birthday, you're giving me the prezies. I love you. What makes you think I need saving? Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpole head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Did you fix me? Um. You're mad if I, you think I'll make a deal with the devil. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind oh my before God. it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Monica, no! Do not the devil! Do not the devil! Do not the devil. I'll have the last laugh in the end. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Well, that was the devil. No, Monica, he is like, Raphael, I am among the many who believe that we deserve a Raphael romance option. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. He 
he's not. We still have options. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He You're playing with me. With... Well, someone I used to know. Oh, yeah. Someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games. Unless they know they can win. We're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary mind flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. I'm pregnant. Like, the man just opens his mouth and all... I don't know. I, I don't know. I... The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil. So the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. I love that the House of Hope music is still just going in the background. Don't worry, I have no interest in a devil seal. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Evie, it's literally your birthday. You stop it. Evie, I love you so much. That's so generous and kind. Thank you for five gifted members. That's ten tonight. I love you, Evie. My angel. Also, I hope you're feeling okay. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fighted to dine with a devil. <laughs> you're familiar with devilry, then? I've never met a devil, but of course I've read a great deal about them. Even feigning a mortal form, it was easy to detect the whiff of sulfur about him. Mm, to spot the flicker of hellfire in his eyes. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. All I'm hearing is conjecture. I'll remind you that when dealing with the devil, you always draw the short straw. Also, yes, Evie, I will get you a Polly Pocket house. Monica said Evie's birthday present should be a Polly Pocket present. If you want me to give you one, absolutely. Let me finish this conversation with my future husband real quick. Which is kind of awkward because I'm, I'm pregnant with a Sarian's child. Ash said I would also like to make the devil worse. Thanks for five months, Ash. Um. I'll remind you that when dealing with the devil, you always draw the There's short no straw. such thing as an absolute certainty. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. Oh, 
hold on, hold on. Well, fuck, I should finish this. Um... And how do you propose we beat a devil at his own game? By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Need something? You! Badly! God. All right. Well, I will miss the House of Hope music, but, um, okay. So, how do I get to Donnie? I think I could go up here. I think Donnie is up here. He is. Okay. Wow. Ah. That's Mattis. Donnie's up here. Hi, Donnie! Yeah! I did! His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Oh. But... Donnie, I... I think you're supposed to take me somewhere. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then a... I'm so confused. But I found Donnie and he has nothing to say to me. Maul will get pissy with me if I go down there. Well, I'll give it a try. Oh. She's down there my phone sorry oh yeah i was gonna give you a poly pocket house let me do that really quick easy okay so oh i didn't realize that was all lit up there we go um let's see let's see okay what do I want for Evie? There is this really beautiful, um, like little mermaidy one. I think that one's pretty cute. Oh, you can't see past my light. I like that one a lot. Let's see which other ones. Oh, this one's a necklace. I could wear this one around my neck. You could live right there, Evie. I, I quite like that one. If you're into pink, that could be your jam. Okay, so we have a mermaid option. We have um, the necklace option. Really something in there. You see that? It's pretty cool. And then uh, maybe just this really simple, pretty, like woody house, you know? I like that one too.
Feel better, Robin. Love you. It's fine, says Colin. Okay. Well, then I'll go down and see Maul. Because I pissed off Maul before, and it was kind of annoying. I had to pass a pretty big check. Oh, hey, Molly, you're not even pissed. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. Oh yeah, I guess I have been nice. Um... Why are you running all those schemes and swindles? Risky, you know? We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? Quite the opposite. I want to invest in the newest thieves guild uh, on the Sword Coast. I'm not your mother. Do as you please. I'm going to say I'm not your mother. Do as you please. Evie. Birthday, babe. Yay, I seriously wouldn't want to spend my B-Day with any other group of people. You and your streams have helped me <laughs> while dying, and I hope you're feeling better. You all mean so much. We love you, Evie. Happy birthday. We love you didn't need your permission, but fine. Thought you might I need do, help. as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. An idol? What'll you do with something like that? The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Yeah, Nicole, you made it. Let me... Are there consequences to stealing the idol? Um, Maul is a tiefling. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I am not getting involved. I am gonna say no. Figures. Don't think you've got the stones for the job anyhow. That's real. Anything long. else? All right. Well, that's that's just fine. That's literally just fine. Um. I don't really want anything you have, Maul. Anything else? I'm you've good. been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Long until we leave now. You don't look so tough. Mole thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. That's pretty impressive, Mole. You came! I have... Here! Mole said I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. Oh, aren't you the clever one? That's very kind. It's about you. I hope you like it. Oh, 
I love it. I love it. I love it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, 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 okay. Once there was a boy on a beach. He saw there was a harpy nest. He was a very good climber. He wanted to climb to the top and steal from the harpy nest. But the harpy was very mean. She sang a song and the boy forgot what he was doing. But then an adventurer passed by. The adventurer was very strong and killed the harpy in one blow and saved the boy. The boy was very cold and scared. He was standing in the water, so he was very cold. But the adventurer had saved him. The boy thought the adventurer was amazing. The boy wanted to be like the adventurer. He wanted to be strong and save people and never be scared again, just like the adventurer. I love this kid. I love him. He's so cute. I'm going to be like you someday. Killing all the scary monsters. Oh, yes, you will, you sweet little baby. I love you. Wow, I did not do any of that before I came in here the last time. And it resulted in Maul being, like, so hostile to me. That was so cute. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Oh, okay, sorry. I forgot. So we've done that. Let's go talk to Zevlor. Who? Gaze is following me. Which one? The ox? The strange ox? The ox makes you uneasy. Oh, good. It's negative one for our con. Oh, never mind. I'm fine. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Moo. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> I love him. He's so cute. It's fine that you're not who you appear to be. So many ways to die. Are you, Zephyr? I guess you're up here. Back, do I climb I up here? Told you, I or do I have to go around? You have to go around. Hey, egg. Sorry you're not feeling good. Hope you feel better. Aridan's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Don't worry, I'm gonna go get him. Sorry to disappoint. Hells, I didn't mean it that way. Halsin's important. But you're the first bit of good faith we've had since he left. Keep your wits about you. Things are tense with the druids here. Yeah, no shit. How the hell do we get over to Zephyr? Like, did I miss something? Pink one is 100% my vibe. And then, yeah, 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 you can just live right around my neck. <laughs> so it's just close to your heart so I can hear it 24 7. That's so cute. This is a nightmare. Who's a nightmare? I'm glad, I'm glad we came to an agreement on that one. Maybe it's the 
stone door. Alright, secluded chamber. Oh, Zevler's in here. Or, yeah, 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 that's Zevler. You're the one who helped to the gate. Glad to have another sword. <sighs> we might need it. Okay, well, happy to help. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Can you delay the ritual? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Mm. You need to cut your losses and run. I'll help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. The Blade of Frontiers has done what he can to help us prepare for the journey, and we are grateful. But it'll be a short journey if the goblins still own the roads. By the Triad, there is only one correct answer. Refuse him, and we sentence these people to die. I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp oh. depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. You know, I did wonder if Asarian wasn't going to like that. I think I am going to send him back home. <laughs> yeah, I'm posting a video tomorrow. I just, I hate getting disapproval with anyone this early in the game. He does just simply stay disapproving. <laughs> No matter what. If I'm not just being absolutely brutal. All right, no sorry. From the scouts yet. No, sir. Need something? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Well, you know where to find me. Bye, sorry. Where are you, where are you going? Oh, you're going that way. You could just go back out the way we came, but all right, yeah, no, you go that way. All right, I'll see you in a minute. I have something to ask. I heard if the so we can risk violence here, or it's good of you to ask. We need them. Somebody, the Blade of Frontiers. By the Triad, there is only one correct answer. Refuse him. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Alrighty. At the ready. I'll give it a shot. So we've talked to Zevlor, we've got that. We're good on that. Um we could go find Karlak, but I think that we should obviously go get Saris. Mr. Sari. Come. Yes. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. <laughs> All right. No, don't end the day. I don't need to long rest. All right. So I am going to take a quick break and go feed the puppies and probably let them out. So this will probably be like a five-ish, maybe 10-ish minute break if, if it gets up there, because um, Riley needs to go to take his meds. He's got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I've got to feed him before it's too late. Um, 
I'm gonna go feed them really fast. And yeah, slay. Um, if you guys want to during this time, I love to take our little self care breaks throughout the stream. So get up, stretch your legs, take your medication for the night if you haven't already, if you need to take anything, eat a snack. Drink some water. I'm gonna play you guys your your good old fashioned ambiance music. So it'll be like I'm not even gone. Oh, that got so loud, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm gonna put you on a BRB and I will be right back. Monica, I'm gonna tell him you love him. Riley, Monica says she loves you. He's just staring at me like, where's my food? Alright, be right back.
Thank you very much for the break. I appreciate that. Oh, Chris is back there now. I didn't even realize. Okay. Got our sorry boy back. Let's go to lead camp. And then I say we go find Carla. I know you have it. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will. Let's get out of the grove. Well, actually, I did sleep. Maybe this guy has more. Need anything else? Of course, but please remember, you're not the only one in need. <laughs> was that for me? Was mommy for me or was it for Carlac? Just wondering, Susie. She's already got 14 armor class. Um, actually, I think I will buy all four of you. Is that my camp supply sack? No, give me back my camp supply sack! I didn't need to do that! Crap! Oh, okay, it didn't. Did you buy back everything I just sold you? You sure did, you sure freaking did. Where have my eye just started twitching? He bought my gruel! I'm taking back my gruel. Damn. Oopsie daisy. Where did my acorns go? Where did they end up going into Sylvanas be with you? Okay, no, I have my acorn troubles. Never mind. Just have a sorry and steal it back. That's true. Could I? I guess yeah. Need anything else? I will have him steal it back. All right, come here, sorry, sorry boy. <clears throat> What's in no, here? No, don't do that. Turn off the torches. They're so sweet. Do I want to steal the camp supplies? Thank you. Oh! Arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. I don't. I don't have a defense. I don't have a defense. <laughs> Good night, pansexual Hufflepuff. Mama to three nine two three. I love you so much. I'm so sorry to hear that you're having a 
a tough day there, but I'm, I, I hope everybody's feeling okay. Need anything else? Oh, crap. Come here, sorry. We'll, we'll be quicker this time, I think. Like a race. And then I don't, I think that's fine. I don't think we really need anything else. Of course, but please remember, um, you're not the only one in need. I think we're fine with that. I think that if we got those things back, that's more than, than enough for now. You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in defense? I say safe scum. I say safe scum. That's what I say. Sylvanas be with And also with you or whatever. Okay, so Carlac. I don't think I could climb up there. Could I? I didn't see anywhere to climb up there. Which means we'd have to go back down here. And basically, start over. Louis's word is law, so true. Would you guys believe it if I said I'd never watched, or never watched, <laughs> I'd never played Skyrim either? Um, I don't need to really Ever go back to the heard of a thing. vampire called Casador? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. Why? He's patriarch of the Tsar family. Nasty fellow, if the histories are accurate. I imagine they are. I love, I love, I love listening to dialogue, man. Monster Hunter. How would you approach killing a vampire? To start, it lure it into healthy, the sun, drive a stake to its heart. Why? Who cares about some pig? Just curious. <laughs> I accidentally got him into conversation about this. Really interesting that he just brought that up here. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? These mics are strange. Do you recognize them? I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. They are so ferocious. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. He said, away from the scene of the crime. Interesting, Astarian. Very, very interesting. Need something? You, biblically. Karlak is up there. I wonder if I could go this way then. Who's over here? Oh! People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. But 
I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will... She... She... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true what soul. What's with Gail's clothes? Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Um, I don't want to cause concern by saying true soul. Um, you need to find the beast and avenge your brother. Forget the owl bear; you're still alive, so go. Well, and and just leave it. Yeah, I want to loot his body. I suppose. I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. Yeah, something like that. I want that amulet the of the back. absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. I'm gonna move a screen real quick. Cool. I can see everything now. Cool. Um... Let your curiosity guide you for it. Oh my god! Two tadpoles is better than one, I suppose. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. Yes? Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. Um... Okay, we're good there. So we have what... I would want from him. I really wanted that amulet. As much love as I hold for Baldur's Gate, these frontiers delight me as much as any bustling street. You can't be serious. This is a howling wasteland. I haven't even had a bath since the abduction. I must reek of a lithid slime. Oh, 
poor starry boy. Sure. But think of the stories you'll be able to tell. I'm with you, sorry. I, I would quite like a bath as well, honestly. How could I get up there? How can I get up there? Ah! Oh my god. I guess I'll figure it out. Oh, is there something up here? Oh, like across this bridge. There's the boar. Yeah, I got You're the tadpole. You're impressive fighter, Gale. You should consider a new name. I take it you have some suggestions? <laughs> the Wizard Wonder. Or how about the Master of the Weave? That has a ring to it, Gale. Tempting. But I think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Well, they are a long ways from the druids grove indeed. But I know now our journal should be updated. Nettie's dead. <laughs> All right, we gotta find Halson. Um, there were three fi figures in the drawing we found. The goblins must have more than one leader. Got it. I can't quite get to Carlac in the way that we're going, but maybe maybe this is fine. Let's have a look. Movement on the roofs. I sense a classic ambush in the making. Well, uh, well spotted. Lilith does have men's pockets, it, complete with like worms and shit. I am so curious what's down here. Could I just go straight to Carlac? I'm just gonna do it. I miss my mommy. I can literally come. <gasps> Scratch! No, 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 no. I swear I just heard footsteps where there were none. Okay. I need to uh, get my dog first and foremost. Susie, are you here? How do I make potions? I don't know how. Um. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. I go in here. Open. Alchemy. I don't know how to make it yet. I don't think I know how to make it yet. Okay, I'm gonna come back. I'll come back for him, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine.
right? Maybe it's because I don't know how to make a, any salt stuff yet. I'll come back for you, Scratch. My scratchy scratch. Well, it's no boulders gained. But at least it's some. Get over there! Surround him like! You spotted us. Good. It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. Um... There will be no skewering happening here. Now let me pass. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Um... We'll just do persuasion. Let me buy... I'll pretend this never happened. Oh, suppose it's best to save our strength for a real threat. Go on then. Just keep your nose clean. Well, that's slay. <laughs> Sorry is um he approves. Alright, well we won't go through there. Let's see. Oh, I, yeah. Well, should we go through there? <laughs> uh, maybe not. I don't know. Alright, cool. Welcome. This way. Um, people are saying I could still get scratch without potion of animal speaking. I don't think I realized that. Oh, a bugbear. <sighs> Sorry, bless me. Excuse me. If sorry, if sorry lock picks though, are they gonna get pissy? Watch your back. That's why I didn't do it because I was worried they get mad. But I guess it's not outlined. Let's crack it in open. um in red, so probably not then. Thanks, Monica. No time to rest. Dark as heck down here. Wonder if the gods are watching me. What's inside? Nothing important so far. To not be cursed. It's huge down here. Oh. Well, nothing really down here. It's an interesting little area with, um, we are stocked in thieves' tools. Oh, What's that my spy? Starry, you're a genius. Can't give up now. Best be on my way. 
Oh. Should we have a... Um... Be careful. Those webs carry vibrations. Yeah, I don't think we should be back here. I... We don't have, like, a light source. Like, nothing. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's why Astarian goes in first. Weapon blueprints. They call for Sousa bark. If only I knew where to find some. Nature just failed. Alright, let's go back up, I think. Here we go. Night Colin, thanks for hanging. Oh, I don't think I found that waypoint yet. There we go. Cool. Something's on my mind. If you want to keep your insides on the inside, don't cause any trouble. Game marks as Missing as children. The children Maggie Terrans, Marcus Terrans, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Hopefully they grew up big and strong. Gale of water deep. I guess go up here. Open up. I am drowning in camp supplies currently. What we got here? Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What the hells are you doing? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Let me rephrase that. Why are you doing this? Because it makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it does look funny, I'll admit. Um... Uh, fun's over. Release the gnome. You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Um... Go persuasion. Um, scroll of charm person. That's the first time I've ever gotten recommended that. Yeah. I reckon we could do better than this run, eh? We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to. I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. Move it! Fresh meats, scared meats, yes! What are you doing, Mark? Hey, man. Um, let's see if I remember how to do this. I always 
forget what the um what the button is to highlight everything. Oh my god, I love how the narrator says authority too, dude. It goes crazy. I could have sworn it was back here. Maybe it's down in the hatch. You hit release brake le lever, trust me. I don't know if I just didn't see it. Oh, it's alt. Ah! That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> I press the window instead of alt. I do that all the time. I don't think the lever is down here. I think this is just a random area. Oh, I don't want a rotten tomato. Mmm. Gail, look! Yummy boots! Oh, sorry. I don't need a pitchfork. Oh, I do need a shovel, actually. That's kind of useful. Alright, well, back up. On the ground floor next to the left of the ladder. Great clever. Here. What's going on with the sheep? <laughs> Me immediately saving because I don't want to lose a approval with um, Asarian. <laughs> I'll do anything not to lose approval with him. Cut me loose! Free me and find out! Oh, fine. Oh, bag of Kamara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. Get on with what? You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Mm, yes. As expected. <laughs> Coercion by the book. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. You're a little har far from home for a deep gnome. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. <laughs> I love how with Asarian, I'm like, I absolutely refuse to get low approval with him. And then I saw Will disapproves and I went, I mean, that adds up, you know. Okay, it's pack. Let's see if we can find it then. Upstairs? Maybe that's what's upstairs. And I couldn't find it. Was his pack? <laughs> no. What is that 
screaming sound. Back down here. <clears throat> oh, it is right there. Huh. Maybe I could have done that without letting him go, but oh well. Alright. Where to next? Could uh, go down to the goblin camp. Or and hear me out here. We could we have the opportunity to do something so funny. We have the opportunity to do something truly hilarious, actually. Where's my team? <laughs> Come on, Gil. Is that blood? No, never mind. Need to find a way through wood. We have the opportunity to do something absolutely hilarious. Better not be cursed. As you approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door. Then, a low moan. Someone, or something, is having a bit of fun. Hello? Anybody in there? Go away! <laughs> Monica, I will give you chaos. I hope you're ready for it. Let's leave them alone. I don't want to be invited to the wedding. <laughs> I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna send Will back to camp because I don't want to get two appro disapprovals of them back to back. <laughs> I feel too bad. <laughs> Saves coming, but it's literally just so I don't lose approval with my comrades. But I have to go in. I want to know. Come here, Will. Well met. Are you sure? And just. Yeah, I'll see you later, I'm bud. To put my hands on everything. Then a low moan. Wait, don't interrupt them. Oh. Let me do it. They sound disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait, I don't want it to glitch out like that. Hear another muffled cry. The two inside are still in the throes of passion. Oh man, no, I want to let a story do it. Crap. Wait, I want him to do it so bad because that was so funny. Wait, I have to let him do it, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry that we're safe scumming on walking in on these two. But I just really need to see Asarian's reaction because that was so funny. Emily, thanks so much for your first ever super chat. I've been watching you since 2015. Love you so much. I love you. Well met. I love you so much. Thank Are you, you sure? very, very much. The Welcome just... to our, our cozy little stream. If not over, then through. Here goes nothing. As you approach, a guttural scream and a success. Then a low okay. moan. Someone or something is having a bit of fun. Go away! Wait, don't interrupt them. Let me do it. They sound disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Um. <laughs> she is horrified. 
side. He is cracking up, and Gail is just like, what are we doing right now? <laughs> you were making a lot of noise. I wanted to join the fun. Wind. Smash. Oh, smash you. Are you kidding me? Don't disturb a half ogre in the making. <laughs> I've never, I've always just talked my way out of that. I don't think I've ever, like, made fun of them before. Oh my god, and of course I'm doing it with three people. Get out! Um... Oh my god, my tab is nuts! Oh yeah, sorry about that. Um... Oh my god! <laughs> I might be so screwed! Oh no! God, this game is funny. I've almost run through all my spells, unfortunately. But that's all right. I don't... I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to... Whatever, that's fine. Oh my god, that was so funny. Oh, no, stop it. Bunka, did you need to go potty, sweetie? She wants to run outside super fast. Um, I'm just gonna, I won't even put you guys on a BRB. I'm just gonna literally turn off my camera um, and <laughs> let her out. I'll be super quick. Oh, no, I'm about to knock over my Um, do I ever do short resting? I do, but I didn't think that restored spell slots. I definitely did short resting in my previous one. I just always thought that didn't really restore any spell slots or anything. Or if it did, I never really noticed it. Up here. That's what I thought. Yeah, only for warlocks. Which is very helpful. Um, A beast fit for an ogre. 
you notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. Um, I'll have Starry well, pull it hello. out. A beast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, Ooh, leathery meat. am I gonna make that? Sure am. Wow. That's crazy. Your cautious method pays off. The dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Cool. Mystery meat, tough as boar hide. Only the sharpest teeth could pierce it. Hmm, I wonder what's eating it then. Got you! I don't think I knew that about Gale either, which is kind of crazy considering I... Oh. Sorry about that. I accidentally just swapped screens. Um, there we go. Definitely went through my whole playthrough not knowing that. Still in control. Alright, just... well. Always makes my day better. I'll try not to worry so much about um, well, approval. That... He always does just come in so clutch, my little starry boy. He's the best. Um, I actually want to give him that dagger. I'd like to put this in your... Can you not go double-handed? Yeah, do you have to be proficient in that? Maybe. Looking ahead, moving in. All right, I can come back to the Blighted Village, I suppose. Um, but I also could go through it. I really want Carlac. Uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't go that way. I just saw that Insta save. Well, let's see what's going on. Mm, what's that? I don't know, let's find out. I guess I'll just take all of that. Come on, cuties. No hesitation. Wizard Road, huh? I don't think I remember. Oh. Um. Gail needs a fruit snack. Hi, Gail. Oh, you'll have to speak slowly. <laughs> I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. In my condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten i'm just covered in blood um i have a match that is most gratifying to hear may i um what do i want to give you I probably care the least about dancing lights out of these. I think these other ones are, are pretty helpful. Although, mm, dancing lights could help me... Uh... I don't know. I think I'm going to give him the locket. Although... I do enjoy giving him boots so much. So, 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 so much. Good night, Kylantis. Love you. I think I'm going to give him the locket. I think I'm going to give him the locket out of those three. Thank you. Anything for you. 
<laughs> baby girl. Anything for you, baby girl. Mmm, tasty. Oh. That hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition sounds unpleasant, to say the least. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Don't mention it. I'm glad I could help. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. <laughs> What's on your mind? All right. I think there's a pretty significant fight up here. I'm pretty sure there is, which could be fine. Because then I feel like I'd have an excuse to long rest. Um. Defender of the people. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Well, okay. One day I'll catch a break. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. This part is really gross, by the Beautiful, way. Beautiful, broken heap smells oddly enticing. You find you can't resist inhaling her offals. Ew. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Her darling pups will not be of her own species. Knolls bring forth their iniquitous litter from many corpsed wounds, including hyenas. Um, I think this might be abomination. Radiant power flows through you as you strike the creature down. Whatever horrific creature was growing inside the hyena dies along with her. Well, you know, it, that's better than... She's still alive! <laughs> what? But she's still alive! Oh my god, I remember this fight being deeply obnoxious. Oh, I should have cast Longstrider. I'll do that the next time that I... I end up... Long resting. Do I want to use all of them? Sure. Did I, did I just shoot that other one? Oh no, I did. I did kill him. Okay. Um, Gale. Oh, they're not even in the battle yet. Got it. All right. I'm going to leave it that way. Where's it running off to? Oh, I hate that sound! That's so sad! Uh... Coming through. Oh, my God! I wonder if this is worth oh, the cost. Oh, 
I'm actually really, really, really glad it's not any worse though. <laughs> Never seen that before. So much for the miracle of childbirth. Once you're not in combat, yeah, this yeah, place yeah. This reeks of blood. Let's go before more join us. We will. We will. Who has long strider? You have. Elminster's not around. So it might have. Um, I think it's just Will. All right, let's go take That's out me. these bad guys up up Moving top ahead. too. Just, just cause, just for the. Oh, man, I could have probably snuck in an attack there. Um... You know... <laughs> I guess... Sarian really said, I am thirsty. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh, sorry. I really shouldn't have put you all the way up there alone, huh? Finding my way. Um, can I not get it between the two of you? Yeah, I can. What now? Light on my feet. Um, that'll take it out in its next turn, I guess. Ignis! Maybe I'll get lucky and it'll run through the daggers! Oh! I got lucky and it ran through the daggers! Oh my god! Alright, magic missile these babies up, Gale. Wow, magic missile is so OP. I love it so Where much. Am I needed? Um, how do I cancel your concentration? Oh, just like that. Okay. Um, I have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. <laughs> Dear editor. I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate. Quite exhausted. A good night's sleep would do me wonders. I completely agree. I think we should probably long rest. But no animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. Wow, Baldur's Gate is strict, huh? Their animal laws. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it why he does it <laughs> i'm sure all will be revealed in time but i don't like it a waste of perfectly good treasure i forgot you all have something to say about that gail slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot i hope he got what he needed from it <laughs> go ahead i'm listening oh my god that's funny all right I guess I will take a hyena ear, actually. Man, I'm gonna be able to make Something hella potions of speech. Or speech? Speed. Um, I'm gonna take both of those. Time to press ahead. Gonna come down here and loot these guys. And then I've always read there's absolutely no harm, especially if you just have the supplies and stuff, to like long rest as long as much as you want for the story's sake, you know? 
So I think I'm probably gonna do that. Will really said he slurped that shit down. God, I have so many hyenas here. <laughs> Deliver the chest to me and open. Read the first sentence again. Open it and I will know because you will be dead. This is not a threat. This is what will happen if you open the chest. Huh. How do you multi-select on this one? Always room for more. Oh, I don't want a bag of rotten food, but I do appreciate all the all the fresh food I'm currently getting. <gasps> We're almost to Carlac! Okay, 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 okay. I say we go to camp, we long rest. Yes, I still have full short rest. But again, if there's no penalty for long resting, why not? You know what I mean? And it's just, it's every opportunity to, um, to further. I'm so glad I found, wait, I'm Althira. A bard from the grove. I don't mean any harm. Where did I last save? I want to meet her first. I want to meet her first. I want to meet her first. Oh my god! I don't want to not meet her! Never meet her. Oh, my God, I'd have to redo both of those fights. Okay, okay, okay. Do I go back and meet Alfira and maybe save Alfira? For my dark urge playthrough. Can I tell her to leave? Is there a way to save her? There is a way to save her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why I'm like, I kind of think I might go back and redo all of that. <laughs> Which is crazy. Which is crazy. But worth it. I just, I, you know, you're not here to watch someone play Baldur's Gate 3 well. You're here to watch me play Baldur's Gate 3. Wasn't that hard of a fight anyway. Who cares? Then I'll just reload everything. Who cares? Who cares? Gail, did I already give you your fruit snack? Go ahead. I'm listening. Your enterprising approach. I do not yet need to consume an item. Okay. I'll keep it close by. Breathe deep and move. Something tore right through these people. They didn't. Beautiful. You hear what comes next before you see it. 
the sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. Her belly split the raw hate of life reared from the miracle of death. A tear almost springs to your eye. I skipped it! Wait! I skipped it instead of killing her! <laughs> I want to at least see the scene now. Wait! <laughs> I want to see that! That was like a dark urge thing. That's so funny. I'll take I'll take a harder fight to see that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Lilith's face! Something tore right through these people. The beautiful, broken heap smells oddly enticing. You find you can't resist inhaling her offals. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life. At the start of another. Her darling pups will not be of her own species. Knolls bring forth their iniquitous litter from many corpsed wounds, including hyenas. I'm gonna, I'm, but I, okay, so I think, which one did I say? I think I said stifle your excitement. This is grotesque. Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. The raw hate of life reared from the miracle of death. A tear almost springs to your eye. Lilith! Lilith, you absolute Oh, I'm surprised. Shh. This is going to be such a hard fight. Where's it running off to? That's fine, though. Oh, so that's why I had to fight them all last time all at once. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Well. Just like old times. Time for a new approach. All right, well, we'll see if I can get On the victor's path. Oh, no. At least there's that. Swords meet sorcery. Gale is gonna magic missile the hell out of it. <laughs> Jesus. It's still a tough watch. I just, I would feel so bad about not even saying hello in my, um, dirge place. I should have, what I should have done is put a cloud of daggers right here. And I still might if I end up having the time. Although I guess some people are coming this way. But I think a cloud of daggers right here so they couldn't pass would be kind of killer. Well, I guess they're going to split up. Alright, 
it. Sorry, sorry, boy. I don't know if I can sneak against anybody. Are you gonna talk anyone from here? Um, God, the UI is so different. I'm still Let's just getting. Go. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I didn't realize he was right there. You know? realize they were there. I, I was I just saw them as like big lumps of bread. Got to use cloud of daggers. Oh well. Alright. Still on my feet. Um <laughs> man. <sighs> <laughs> this is why I should be saving all the time. Oh my god, Will! Jesus Christ! Hellish Rebuke goes crazy. Did I? Did I hit Lilith with those by accident? <laughs> Did I just hit Lilith with those instead of him? No, there's no way, right? I couldn't tell. Anyways, yeah, Lilith's got rabies, Rose. No holding back. I guess everybody's dead, really. Yeah, Sirez, I, so playing on PlayStation, I don't think that quick saving like that is like as intuitive of a thing. I definitely think I should start like spamming the hell out of it now. <laughs> Oopsie daisy, Lilith, sorry girl. Um, you know, oh my God. Okay. Gail. Can you hit anything else? No, he's way too far. Okay. Oh, you take him out. Torment! Alrighty. This is exactly what happened no last time for me. Was, um... They end up being really hard to uh, Survival is all that matters. Swift as my this feet ends can up being hard me. to get through because there's so much room to go through. Um I know, I do use a lot of health potions and stuff. Alright, hyena, which way will you choose? Yeah, run right into the dagger. Oh, he's dead, but... Okay. A hero at heart. At least things have stayed interesting. Well... Alright, then we're gonna go meet Alfira. And maybe knock her out? Um... Maybe. 
what's inside. <laughs> I need to pay attention to where I'm shooting. I'm doing just fine. Honestly, if you saw how many times I randomly would hit myself, we're playing on the easiest difficulty. And I I really shouldn't be, probably. I, I don't think I actually need to be. Is... Uh, never mind. Are going to quick save and i think we are going back to uh first off i'm going to quick rest <sighs> short rest that hit the spot one of the big death causes in opening weekends was scale spells doing friendly fire it's just like that the zombie hyena up here is hilarious it's it's just crazy how easily you can accidentally um you know. I wonder if I should get Carlac since I'm here. Probably, actually, before I go to the Druid's Grove, because I don't know. I don't want to come all the way back over here. Go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, not right now. Honestly, I think that'll be the plan. I think we'll go get Karlak. We will go meet Alfira, maybe knock Alfira out. What's going on up here? Um, maybe not a right now problem. Um, we'll go knock Alfira out. And then we'll go through the camp scene. Or do I kill Alfira? I do. Okay. Where are you, Mama K? <gasps> Carlac! Hi, Bestie! Hmm. <laughs> One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. You're the devil we've been hunting. Karlak, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karnak's blade raised, slicing through devils. Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. 
Finally home. Or near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Well. Stand down, Will. You saw what I saw. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. You saw her thoughts. She poses no danger to the Sword Coast or God's your stubborn. Carlek's not a devil and you know it. You're stubborn, Will. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Your wife! I'm Lilith. Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Okay! Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. So it turns pretty. out... I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tears, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? Uh-huh! Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Ah, uh, hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Okay. Got it? Yes, Mama K. Okay, Mama K. What's up, Will? You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Someone set you on Carlac's tail. I'd like to know who this source of yours is, or I'm just gonna say lay it out plainly. It means that a reckoning's coming, and I'll be the one to pay up. You sound like a man with the nine hells at his heels. You're closer than you know. One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Hey, um, penance? Should I be worried? You're not in any danger. I promise. I can't say the same about me. I'll protect you, Will! <laughs> I thought we were going to see some real sparks fly between Will and Karlak. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. Devil and Devil Hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. Rather poetic, I think. Alright. What? Do you have anything else to say? Well, man. I'm gonna... I'm getting a bunch for you tonight, I think. 
I'm gonna order it before it's too late. Okay, I had my order ready to go. <laughs> Um, I also really want Carlac to just take me out, actually. All right, so we will do that part later with Carlac. I guess for now, let's go back to this. We'll go into the Emerald Grove, and we'll go make sure we meet Alfira. Um... And maybe knock Alfira out. Although now I wonder if instead... I know, Monica, I do deserve Hibachi. I really, really do. It's been a long night of playing video games with my friends. <laughs> um, all right, I need to look up where Alfira is in the Emerald Grove. Where is Alfira? Just to the east of the Emerald Grove. Is she not in here? Where is she? It's back by the pool. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Susie. I literally just put two and two together. I'm going to see if Aaron has a potion of animal speaking. Need anything else? I do. Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Wow, it is so easy to do it like this. Okay, he does not have any potions of animal speaking. Ugh! I wonder if anyone does this early in the game. I was reading um, the... Uh, I was reading a post and it said... You should try to have animals speaking on. So I'm gonna see if Mattis has one, but if not, that's fine. Think you could stand back? Oh, what? Mattis, you don't have anything else to trade with me? Think you could stand back a ways, pal? I'm fishing for chumps here. I can't trade with you anymore? Oh my God, kid. You're so annoying. Whatever. Who are you? What are you doing over here? Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Um, yeah, for sure. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together in- No, and I think you're right. I really, really do. Swing and swivel and wait. I've already forgotten how to get now down run. into the pool. One more time. Probably didn't need to go that way. Yeah, I have completely forgotten how to get to the pool. <laughs> oh, oh, I was the right way. I was literally going the right way. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Auntie Ethel might have some. Is she still here, I wonder? I could go check. I think that's, yeah, Auntie Ethel's still here. All right, let's see if she has some. Hello, Petal. Hey, bother. Ugh, nobody has any potions of animal speaking. Darn, what can you do? Because I have the stuff for it, but... Take care. I can't think of anyone else who would trade. 
Except for Maul, I guess, but I don't think she has any either. I'm just running them all over the damn place. Okay. So now we're here at the sacred pool. Down by the river, that little lake area, that's where we took out the harpies, right? Wait, by the truffle. If you, wait, if you buy the, if you, if I buy it, you think I'll have it? But I bought acorn truffle. Okay, okay. All right, Susie, I'm, I believe in you. I do. Because I bought truffle from, um, Aaron, and it didn't teach it to me. Is that everything? <laughs> Susie, I'm so sorry. My back and forth with the delay, too, has got to have you so confused. Hello, Petal. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'll see. I'll see if it does teach me. I don't think it does. But I'm happy to try, you know? Uh... Nope. Okay. That's okay. Now we know. Now we know. Now we know. Now. It's okay. You should learn the recipe if you have three in your inventory. I have three in my inventory. Didn't show me the recipe. I have them. Because I'd love to have the potion of animal speaking before I go and do this conversation. Oh, wow, that's pretty down here. Extract it. Um, extract. Oh, it turns into essence of acorn truffle? Is that what you want me to do? Is that right? Okay, so now can I make the potion of animal speaking? I have to make three of those. Oh, I need any salt. I don't have any salt. Crap. And I didn't see any salt for sale with either of them. Shoot. Closer, but now I'm just like, is there salt somewhere? Is there salt somewhere? Could there be salt somewhere? Well, there she is. So, you can collect certain things to make salts. Like what? Like what? I want to know what the, <laughs> I want to know what the squirrels say. Oh, it makes salt as well. I don't know anymore. Ugh, I don't have any extras. 
my god, my stomach is rumbling so loud. Try extracting everything. Monica, thanks for the salt. I appreciate you. I wonder if there would be an extra rogues morsel somewhere. Because it would just be so, so slay to go into this, you know? Maybe, maybe there is salt somewhere. Like, maybe we could make salt. I'll give it a shot. I don't know. Now I just really... You go to alchemy and click extract all. Thank you guys so much. Okay, extract all. Okay. Ah, uh, nothing. All right, cool. Will, where are you? Gail, get on here. Ah, uh, excellent choice. Get up here. Oh, later, Will. See you. What to do? Pave my path with corpses. Build my castle with bones. Good God, Lily. You freaking nut. What's going on down here? Seems you like have a, a good moment to talk. talk. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but... She kept gasping. Clawing at the arrow. Taking a life always has a cost. You have to feel it or you'll lose who you are. I had the same thought. And it's just going to keep happening. Could there be a rogue morsel literally anywhere? I'm starting to think that the answer to that question is no. Oh my god. What's hiding here? I forgot you died. You died fast. There's a dirt mound. Dirge is so me at 13. So true. Couldn't luck out there. Ever. Do me a solid, babe. What's this now? Dang! We were just so close to animal speaking. Yeah, and there's all these, like... Things down here think one of them would just be a simple rogues morsel morsel Nettie might have I just feel like I know I'm, I'm being a little intense with this one but I just feel like if I'm going to meet Alfiro once, you know, might as well really meet Alfira. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe Nadido has something. What path lies before me? Okay, all sorts of stuff, but all of that will be stealing. What's in here? Right, loot that, really? I could collect mugwort. Cause I saw I saw mugwort outside too. You know? Docked on healing potions, though. Oh my god, come on, Betty. You have so much cheese absolutely everywhere. Good God. Is the bird dead? I don't think so, it's just tired. There's tons in the blighted village. Oh my gosh, I keep accidentally pressing windows. I could go back to the blighted village, I could, but I also know there's mugwort outside. Book. Is this Halson? Could be Halson's. It could be. It could be. Alright, there's another little area over here. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. I think we found more mugwort and dagger root. getting somewhere maybe in here we're totally gonna find one more mugwort I absolutely believe we will Halson's pipe I will take Halson's pipe my dear Nutty, I entrust you with the circlet to open the library, wear it always. If you need to enter the vault, talk to Rap. He has the rune, but he won't give it to anyone. Protect my research, don't give it to Tuffet. So does that mean we could, um... Maybe go ask... Open up. Sorry, Nettie. Oh my god, Will. Maybe... I was so convinced we'd find one. Go down into her lab area. Wait, were you talking about this? Am I in the right area? Ugh. Uh. 
Well, I actually know there's Mugwar outside. Oh, I could go see if Wrath will give me the stone slab. I don't think he will, but I could I could ask. I could I could ask. Spells, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. Alright, Wrath. Give me a solid. I wish I could offer more assistance. For now, I must keep a close watch on Gorga. I hope to see both you and Halson again soon. Maybe I could get it after I return Halson here. Well, either way, I know there's a mugwort outside. Um, so we can go outside. And now... Because I literally saw mugwort out here. <laughs> Monica said, return the slab or suffer my curse. All right, so now I'm going to extract all. Nice, potion of animal speaking. Let's craft it. And then I'm going to have Lilith drink it. All right, now I'm gonna save. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, okay. And now we can also get Scratch. Although people were telling me I don't need the Potion of Animal Speaking to get Scratch, technically. Welcome to the stream, Spells. We're, uh, we're playing Dirge Run. It hurts! It hurts! Please, make it stop! Slow down, what's wrong? Can't you hear it? Her singing. <laughs> It's awful. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> um, don't mock her. She's trying her best, I assume. Oh, no. Whatever shall we do? <laughs> More witless creatures. More ear bleed. My head is melting. I'm leaving before the damage is permanent. Monica, yeah, return of this lab. So true. Sorry, I think I said that, but <laughs> thanks again, Spells. When you call the last light, does that fit? Look, dance upon the stars tonight. Smile when pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. What's that tune you're singing? More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. <laughs> um. Let's see. Are you all right? No, I'm moments away from a grisly death at the hands of this bloody song. I oh, can't... yeah, right. Nothing fits, you know? Right, <sighs> right. Um, let me see if I can help. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. First things first. What's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Um... Not an encouragement. And just to her loot, uh, keep going. What would you say to your teacher if she were here right now? That, that it's okay. That I'll be okay. 
And thank you for everything. All right, that's what your lyrics need to say. Moon, moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Wait. time I've played since Lihala died. Aww. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. I'm sure she would be proud to see you now. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse and make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn for her. I have a long way to go, but thank you. I, I needed this. Too sweet, odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness. It's still rough. But my song is getting there. I could have sworn she gave you mus musical instrument profession. Sorry about this. <sighs> All right. Mine will turn to ash when you pull the last light down. Moon, sun, who oh, remind me of your grace? Faith, care. 
How do I turn on? How do you turn on non-lethal? Oh, I am gonna save, but how do you turn on non-lethal? Aggression has won you no friends. Any f <laughs> Should I have done that in one hit? Should I have done that in one hit? Because she really did not like us there. Um, does it matter that she doesn't like us? Never a dull moment. Does it matter that she doesn't like us? I don't know. All right. I think what I want to do, it should still be good. Okay, I, I assumed that her... Um, her approval didn't necessarily matter, because I don't think I ever need her approval for anything. Um, while I have animals speaking, I am gonna go see Scratchy Scratch, but I don't remember where he was. He was like, where was he? Was he back over here? He was, he was over here. Does Gail need more fruit snacks? Gail, do you need more fruit snacks already? All right, what's up, baby? What's up? My mind. my condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. I really don't want to give you any of the magic artifacts I have right now. I really want these. I'm not conveying the urgency of the situation. Okay, I know, 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 I know. It's important you give me a suitable artifact, please. Don't worry, Susie, if you need to leave. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna give it to him. I'm just, I know, Gail, I know you approve. It's fine, I've got you, it's fine. Which one do I wanna give you? I think I'm going to give you these. Thank you. Of course, Gail. I had to give my boy his fruit snack real quick. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I can lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart good night Somehow the Susie. second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first it somewhat relieved the discomfort but i fear my hunger hasn't quite ah! are you all right is there anything i can do to help you you do plenty for me more than you realize what but this cannot be remedied the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire and merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the 
fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. Are you okay? Go ahead. I'm listening. Do you need more fruit snacks? Well, hello. What can I do for you? Well met. Okay. So... Fine. I knew Scratch was down here. I explored it just far enough to spot him, I thought. Scratch not down here? Did I imagine that? No, he is. Okay. Hi, Scratchy Scratch. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. What happened? Here? I told you to go. Calm yourself. I harm only those deserving of it. And you could never be deserving of it, Scratchy. Hmm. <laughs> There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. What's your name? He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. Hi, good boy. Hi, good boy, Scratch. What happened to your friend? We were attacked. Cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Gnolls. Probably the same ones we just killed. Come on, you can travel with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. If he doesn't wake up, follow my son. I have a count. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Okay, Scratchy. Go on. If he doesn't wait, I'll find you. Okay, baby. Oh, my sweet boy. I have heard that if you do this trick where you can get... Well, I won't spoil it for you. It, it's possible... Um, in the order that I've done things. That... I might have to go back and re-save at some point. So I'm actually going to create a fresh new save. And if I have to do that, I'll do it off camera so that you guys don't have to watch me redo a bunch of shit. But for now, let's go to camp. Good gravy. I wonder if everybody has stuff to say. Hi, Carla! Soldier. Um... <laughs> I love I love every single time that we end up going to a companion, especially when we haven't introduced ourselves, like haven't said anything to them and just go, I'm drawn to violence, to blood, obsessions that could become compulsions. Well look, you've said it right out loud. That takes guts. The guts you'll need to change. Or at least make sure you're channeled in the right direction got enough enemies who could do with a good bloodletting, you know? I have no memories of where I came from or who I really am. Is this part of the Ceramorphosis? Hmm. I don't think so. At least, I still remember everything in more detail than I wish. But, as for what's going on in your mind, and maybe in mine, I'm certain there are answers out there. We'll find them together. She's so pretty. I want to start eating drywall. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. 
I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? This is all there has ever been. I only remember snippets of red. Um, this is all there has ever been. It'll come back to you. Maybe you'll recognize something we passed, or maybe we'll find out what happened to you. I get the feeling we've got a long road ahead of us. I hope we find you some answers along the way. You and me both, bestie. You have a bear in your camp? Oh, you have a bear in your camp. He's so handsome. I love him. Soldier. How did you end up fighting in the blood war? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Yeah, 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 we will. About the paladin. Yes, let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. Um, not because I need to know, but in your opinion, what is the best way the dogs, uh, I think my delivery is probably here. I will go grab that cassette as well. Uh, not that we need it for you specifically, but what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> Nothing so important. Alright. Lazel, do you have anything to say? Is that a head you got? Carlac's got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. I will. I love Carlac. I like your stuffed ochre head. Wow. It's beautiful, Lizelle. It really is. All right, Gail, what's going on with you, bud? What's on your mind? Apparently nothing. All right, let's chit chat shadow heart up real quick we'll go to sleep we'll see if we get this scene carl and will seem to have put their differences aside i thought it was going to come to blows for a moment all right let's go to bed and see what happens baby there are so many options willing some friendly faces well met goblins roughed me up and stole my hose when they heard me singing hatchling love <laughs> you wouldn't have half a bedroll for a lost minstrel would you i can pay for my board with music if you care for it it's dangerous to be out there traveling on your own <sighs> I know. It's not the first time I've been robbed. I am only glad I didn't get hurt. So, this character replaces Alfira if she is knocked out or, or incapacitated in some way. Like, if she isn't able to come to your camp, this is who replaces her. 
And this is her only purpose, I think, in this entire game, is to be an NPC to replace Alfira. Who are you? Quill Grootslang. Soon to be published in the Songbook Affairs in Ancient Abir, Songs of Draconic Love. <laughs> oh, if I make it to Baldur's Gate with my manuscript, that is. Our hearth is open, and there is safety beside it. I'll just stay one night. Promise. Then I'll be gone. I know I'm ice blood, but I, I get cold so fast. I need to be by the fire. Okay, Quill. Thanks for the fire. Yeah, for sure. Hey, what kind of music do you write? I've prepared a dense manuscript of new love chants to be throat sung in Timantha style. You probably don't know, but the Dragonborn clans arrange their children's marital unions. Love is considered irrelevant to egg duty. But I've never even been <laughs> kissed. And I can't stop myself from dreaming. I don't think most of us stop hoping. Ever. Really. Not even when duty stamps us down. And that's what the songbook's about. Lost, lingering love. Never acted on. Never spoken. You ran away from home? My clan name has been struck. I named myself anew after a long dead poet. How do you write love songs if you've never found love yourself? Is there someone who you think you might love? <sighs> Come on. I won't tell. Mock me as you will, but I have a thing for Gail. And have you said so? Do they know even one little bit of how you really feel? I'll tell them when I'm sure they'll say it back or no, and I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to tell them. No, and I'm not sure. There's a special feeling to having love all to yourself, don't you think? For no one to know. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up smiling about my little secrets to myself. I would have been laughed at if I admitted to anyone how I felt. It is not our kind's way. You are so beautiful. But I have my whole life ahead of me. Things will be different now I'm on the Sword Coast. I can't wait for what is coming next. <laughs> oh my god. Why were you traveling on the road in the middle of the night? I've been given a great chance. My song score, Affairs in Ancient Abir Songs of Draconic Love, is due to be published in the gate. I'm in a big, big rush, though. I fear that if I don't get there in the next few days, they're gonna print some kobold bone flute instrumentals instead. Are you any good in a fight? <laughs> it's a miracle I'm still alive. Will you sing a song for me, a draconic song? Oh my, are you sure? Are you really sure? Mm -hmm. I wanna hear it. What's the worst that can happen? Spoken like someone who's never heard a dragonborn throat song. This one, Sky Swain, is about what it might feel like to mate in the air, in the age where wings were yet with us. Oh, the true language of love. Oh, there are 69 more verses. I'm only just beginning. 69, you say? Oh, wow. Soldier. Does anybody have anything to say about our dragon friend? Need something?
speak. Well met. No. Nobody has anything to say. Zilch. How can I help? Um, I love you. That's all. All right. Well, I guess we're going to sleep. Something the matter? Let's have a look. What if I should take this just in case Gail needs another fruit snack? I don't think he will, but I don't Let's know. See. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna F5 it. Honor, select some of the cheese <laughs> that Nettie gave us. Well, Nettie didn't give us, but. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that scared girl who asked for nothing more than a night of shelter. Her blood covers you and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. Investigate your surroundings. Oh, God. You know, um, can I roll again? Okay, all right, all right, all right. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. Dirt no matter crazy. how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really? that you could be guilty of such bitter business. What curse is in your heart to kill in your sleep? Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh, where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. I don't think I'd pass a stealth check. I don't think I'd pass it. But I'm going to try to anyway. Elixir of the Colossus? Should I use that for this very moment? Um, I didn't realize it was my, my armor here. Alright. Why not then? That one! You're right, Rebel. I did save. I'll save again just in case. Okay, there we go. All right. A light and delicate girl. It should be no trouble at all to toss her into a ditch. You roll her away, further bloodying your hands as you do. In lumbering style, you have gotten away with murder. Scratch! 
Um... It isn't what it looks like, Scratch, old buddy. Yes? None of you even know I did it. The body isn't even here. Speak. Oh my god, I've only ever seen the reactions from your companions when they realize what you've done. Hi, Scratch. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, welcome to camp. I don't have another potion of animal speaking, but I'm so happy to have you here. I was so worried about Scratch coming because I heard that if you do this maneuver where you where you knock out Alfira and then get Quill to come instead, that Scratch won't recognize the body and he'll get really hostile. So I'm glad that I did a stealth thing and, and got away from it then. Nobody has anything to say. Well met. I am I woke up covered in blood, Will. Just coated in it. How do you get the blood off? If I go stand in the river, will it wash off of me? Because, girl, we literally just slept. I'd rather you not already be bloody. Well, I'm very happy to have you, Scratch Boy. I feel like I'm probably going to go ahead and call it there. Um, but I kind of want to see if Alfira is good really quick before I do. Oh my god, I just realized I never got my delivery. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. <laughs> I was about to leave it out there. Have water and throw it at your feet you'll be clean oh nice okay well i'll do that i think i have water am i clean now though what can i do you for oh i'm clean i walked into the water and now i'm clean well i don't know how we could possibly rinse that up but at least scratch doesn't seem to care Good boy, Scratch. I'm so happy you're here. Oh yeah, you can use a sponge. You're right, Rebel. Okay, I'm going to go... First off, I'm going to go loot Scratch's owner really fast while I'm still here, I think. I didn't want to do it in front of my sweet boy. Where's he gone? Is this body? Oh no, it's still there. Okay. Something I was like, here, I hope. are they suggesting? I don't know. Scratch had a little snack. All right, I'm gonna read this. Be doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. Can't have my best messenger winding up in a face down somewhere. So, this is Postmaster Davin. It's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see us soon. Oh, no! Nine fingers. I won't come back to the city. Not while you have your thugs looking for me. 
you want the debt paid, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you'll find valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me. I know, I'll know what I'm saying. Well. That was Scratch's owner. All right. Let's... Go to the Emerald Grove. Let's go see Alfira. I just want to know if she's good. It'll make my heart happy to see her alive and well. Scratch already came home to us. That's so great. Oh wait, I went the wrong way, I think. She's not over here. It's up here. It's still rough, but my song is getting there. Yeah, it is. Don't what do you think about Asarian? It's still rough. You don't care. I've got a oh, long road ahead. Peace and blessings. We saved Queen Alfira all in a hard day's work for the dirge, man. Oh my god. Well, you know, I thought I was going to hop on for maybe an hour to play, but that wound up being a full five-hour stream of more BG3, baby. All right, Swift so can carry me. I will see you tomorrow with a new video. Um, I think probably fairly early in the day for that. And then um, my next stream will probably be like Friday or Saturday. And then, of course, we'll have our typical Sunday screen stream as well. We'll probably play horror games um, in every stream except for, except for the Sunday screen stream, of course. But thank you guys for hanging out for so long. I had so much fun. I had so much fun. Yeah, I know. We played for a long time, Ash, and you were saying you were tired a minute ago, so you were my strongest soldier tonight. I can't believe we managed to save Alfira. God, you know, the Dark Urge playthrough really is a freaking horror game, dude. Like, imagine waking in the night and finding yourself responsible for murder. Like, crazy. It's, it's so, so, so creepy. And honestly, it's getting under my skin way more than I assumed it would. Hi, Gorge. What is that? No? Okay. I thought Moomoo might want to come say hi. Thank you guys for hanging out for me. Hanging out for me. Hanging out with me for so long. I had a great time tonight. I will see you tomorrow or later today, I guess, at this point for, with a new video. I love you too, Monica. I had so much fun. Rebel, thanks for modding so late. I appreciate you. Yeah, we saved Elfira. I had so much fun. I had so, 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 so much fun. Thank you again, Monica. I love you so much. All right, with that, I think, do you want to say bye? What are you doing? You're such a little flirt. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, all right, whatever. She just wanted to come say hi. I thought maybe I could give you guys a moo moo, a, a moo moo moment. But all right, good night. Thank you for hanging out for so long. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.